pandemic. I think it's wonderful to get back to the human touch. There's so much camaraderie that happens virtually online in these Facebook groups that it's nice to put the face to it. Some of these ladies I've talked to for years without actually physically being there and giving them a hug. So to be able to give them a hug and embrace them fully, I, you can't go wrong. Um, I've always liked her rain necklace and then her Danielle necklaces. I had a teacher, I was a principal for 14 years, and I had one teacher that wore it every day. And I can remember stopping her one day down the hallway and asking her, Miss Butler, what is that? I love it. And she's like, it's Kendra Sky. So I went online that day and I looked at it and I went to the store that weekend and I've been addicted ever since. Yellow L's with the matching, I think it's a Noel necklace. I bought it in white, butter of pearl as well. So I had a um, friend that was a Kendra girl and she had a suspended Avalon Harlow. So I was like, oh my God, that's so unique. I really want one of those, where'd you get it? So she introduced me probably about four years ago and I've been hooked ever since. Um, so I lived in Dallas and I moved from Dallas right before Kendra started. And my husband came back for business and when he walked in his office, there were two ladies and they both had on matching earring and necklace sets. And he said, why are you guys wearing the same jewelry? And they go, oh, you need to go to the Kendra Scott store and buy Lori some jewelry. We know you would want it. And that's when it started. So it was the mystic stone. It wasn't iridescent, but it was two different colors and it was a rain. So it was the long necklace with the dangly tassels. And it was blue on one side and purple on the other, so very versatile. You could wear it both ways, so that was my first piece. Um, I would have to say the Vintage Joys was my first like collector's piece. My first piece were actually the Alex earrings. I love that she came out with all of these bold colors, and so I had them in absolutely every color. Case <laughs> was a white iridescent emerald. Back in the day, like when I first started, back in 2005, um, we didn't have names for products at the time. So I don't think I had like a specific piece, but I do know that it was like all about like these organic beads. And I loved beading as a kid. And so when I saw what she was doing, um, it just was gorgeous. And so she also loved Shell. And so there were a lot of like, really dimensional shells that she was working with that summer and so that was what got me hooked. First piece was the Fran clear peach iridescent and I chose that one because the rose gold and the clear peach was such a unique but neutral stone that you could match with everything and I was in Douglas actually when I when I first saw it and I said what is this and they said this is Kendra Scott like they already told me this is gonna be huge and I said, ooh, I need it. And from then, it just went all the way to today. Uh, it's hard to pick one piece because my daughter worked for her in the very early, early stages. Um, and it was before names were given for the necklaces and the earrings. And um, it was one of her uh, star beaded necklaces. It's very, very simple. Um, and I would have to say that was probably the one that got me started. It was a gold stone Harlow, and that hooked me, and then I've been hooked ever since. I love it, and I don't wear it though, because I love it so much, I'm afraid for it to get <laughs> ruined. I don't want it, you know? It's kind of more like artwork, 
a lot of the jewelry pieces that she has and um, they're unique. I do find that there's some other brands that kind of try to copy her, but they're never as good. Never as good. And uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm a fan girl. I love Kendra and I love all of her products. So they're great. I just love the variety, the options. I feel like there's just so much to choose from and you can mix and match it. I, I really look forward to the new collections coming out, what's going to be next, um, what am I going to add to the next piece of my jewelry, so yeah, I love it. <laughs> I think it's just the timeless style, like she's known as having like the best jewelry, but it's really, you can tell there's a lot of thought put into all of the creations, and I mean I love the vintage, I have my vintage floor in, but I also love the demi fine and the fine jewelry as well, it's just it's so different. It's not like everybody else. I love her fine. I'm gravitating more towards her fine jewelry line, but the, even the fashion jewelry is like more high quality. Like it, it's um, it's better made, and um, it's just very noticeable. Like if I see somebody on TV, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's Kendra. And even my husband now is like, he recognizes it. I'm like, oh my gosh. We're way too deep if you're recognizing what's going on. <laughs> just the quality and how beautiful it all is. It's just all so gorgeous. I love everything Kendra Scott. Uh, because I find it very simple and very elegant. And it goes with any piece that you wear. So like today, I, to me, I have this piece on, her Abby Lockett set. I have the full set on. And it's casual, but it's, it's helping my outfit and it's giving it a pop. So I love her rings. So if you see, I have her rings on as well. And I actually have on her watch. So like 95% of the time, I'm gonna wear Kendra Scott. And I just really like her. Um, the quality, um, the, of course, design. And I think customer service, that's a big one. And I think the way that Kendra Scott started and how she's made it now, it just even makes it that much more appealing. I would say it has so much personality and emotion. And I love that every piece is designed here in Austin, Texas with heart. Um, we listen to our customers. We listen to our fans. They come in and they have so many great ideas and we love to incorporate that. There's just, again, so much heart that goes into every piece. Well, I do love the fact that you can create unique pieces and she la launches the collections with different colors so she keeps people's preference in mind. So that gives you the opportunity to choose what you really want and then you can create pieces in the color bar. And for us as collectors, we all know, we get to customize pieces and then you can play. It's like, your, it's like the toy that you get to play with as a grown-up. How cool is that? First off, you, got, you see the dynamic the store has and the dynamic of the people it brings, but it brings a passion out in a lot of people and it's more than just jewelry, it's also the fact that her values are family first, fashion, philanthropy, and the philanthropy for me is really amazing because every piece that I buy I know is contributing into our society in some fashion. So how can you go wrong with buying jewelry and helping the world at the same time? and our distribution centers, so the team has grown exponentially, um, and it's just been so much fun to be a part of all the stages of this growth and do that alongside Kendra. It's just been so inspiring. So I first started um, as a production assistant um, at our old offices. It was an attic space over <laughs> over a Thundercloud sub, which is a sub shop here in Austin. <laughs> Their corporate headquarters, which was this, this beautiful white Victorian house, I still remember it um, to this day. It was just such a cool little space. Oh, we're on 6th um, Street, right? oh, yeah. yes, that's where we used to have our sample sales and big tents um, on the side of the road. It was just, it was such a cool spot. So, um, yeah, those sample sales back in the day were so much fun. Um, but yeah, so then we moved over to obviously South Congress, actually, South Congress over there. 
um, at Penn Field, and then moved over here, and then to Lamar, which is our current headquarters. But throughout that time, I was in design. Um, I started our sourcing department, merchandising. Um, I did a lot of stints over uh, overseas um, in Asia, um, getting our products designed. Um, and so through that experience, I also got to be on the other side, which was the creative side and being a part of the photo shoots um, and really bringing the story to life to our customers, you ladies, here um, through that experience. So about a year ago, I'd say, I moved over to the marketing team um, to head up creative on that side, which has been a really fun experience for me. So I get to still partner with Kendra and Leah um, on the product and really bring, again, those stories to life. Um, but it's my new chapter, which I'm really excited about. So when I see all of this amazing product, it just brings me back to so many memories um, over the years. And I can like call out names, I can call out collection names, yeah, I can call out years. Um, so I'm just like filled, like my, my cup is filled right now. And um, meeting all of y'all and seeing your excitement for the brand. And so I just wanna say thank y'all so much for coming to Austin. And I'm getting emotional because I think this is just such a cool experience. So. Thank y'all um, for you know allowing me to live my passion because without y'all we would not be here today. So thank you. <laughs> and you know it's kind of crazy that it's just simple jewelry brings all of us from the all around the United States and you had a part in that. You know these iconic designs are priceless and I, I just love to see the evolution of Kendra past, present, and future. I know this is gonna be so amazing.